Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another show kiss for you today in the Ultra Premier Cup, and we're taking a look at Fat Panda 2987's team. So they're actually using a pretty fun team, a pretty interesting team. We have Jolteon with Volt Switch and Thunderbolt, so single moved, as well as Alolan Muck, single moved, very interesting, and then Swamp It. Now obviously I do recommend two moves, of course, but uh, that's totally fine if you don't have the resources for like the Ultra League, don't want to invest in Pokemon. It's not really a big deal, maybe you invest all your resources into the Great League. That's totally fine, whatever the case maybe doesn't really matter so uh, this Jolteon is going to switch out into Swamp It. Swamp It able to successfully catch a move this is going to be a weather ball okay so nice switch and it looks like Ninetales will go into Empoleon so this is actually very interesting if this lands it will KO the Empoleon if not Swamp It should be able to get to another one if it shields it does land so it KOs that Empoleon very nice and then Swamp It actually gets to a Hydro Cannon. That is awesome. Swamp It definitely going to town, doing really well. Actually able to just KO the Alolan on Ninetales. In comes Shadow Machamp. So a Hydro Cannon coming in from the Swamp It. This is definitely going to be shielded. Swamp It is absolutely doing everything in its power to win. And it looks like we're seeing a little bit of lag, which is really unfortunate. Looks like we're seeing a lot of lag, which is really unfortunate. But hopefully it connects. Okay, that was really strange. Okay, so it looks like the Machamp didn't take any damage and didn't have to use the shield and fainted the Swamp It. So Fat Panda definitely fell behind in that one. Uh, so that's really unfortunate, but it happens to all of us. Let's see if he could uh, pull it on back. Shielding the Rock Slide, very nice switch. And trying to get to a Thunderbolt, able to get to it. This should be enough to KO that Machamp. But that was really unfortunate. That was very scary, actually. Could have turned the game around, but uh, it happens. But uh, hey, still took the win anyway. So uh, very, very well done. Very good job. And let's go ahead and move into the next one. But yeah, you hate when that lag happens, right? You hate to see it, but it happens to all of us. We all benefit from it. We all suffer from it. But uh, anyway, Joltik into Roserade. Okay, so Joltik only has electric moves. Not Joltik. I keep on wanting to call Jolteon Joltik. Jolteon only has electric moves. So uh, a little bit unfortunate. The only thing is if you go into a Lolan Muck... It doesn't really have, uh, that's really the only good answer to Roserade, and they actually did switch into it after charging up with Jolteon. In comes the Shadow Politoed. Okay, so this is going to be a Weather Ball. We'll have to see if Muck decides to take it. They do take it, so going to be doing a good amount of damage, a uh, decent amount of damage. We do see a Dark Pulse coming out. It's going to be two Dark Pulses to KO the Politoed yet. So one more Dark Pulse, this will be enough to KO. The Politoed may decide the shield. Now if you look at the CP on the Politoed, it's only in the 2200s. So it's not fully excelled. I don't know how much excelled it is. But um, that's good for the Muck. Uh, if, if it was fully excelled, I don't think this next Dark Pulse would have KO'd. Maybe it would have. Maybe it would have come close. I don't know. But Muck is going to go down unless of a shield. We do see a shield. And that's going to be a Weather Ball. Totally fine. So Dark Pulse is going to be enough to KO the opposing Politoed. Unless we see a shield, and it does KO it, and there was no shield, so that's very good. So what is going to come in? Uh, unfortunately, okay, so it's going to be a Lapras. So Lapras is going to fall down. Unfortunately, Muck is going, uh, going to bring in Swamp It. Okay, so I may have brought in the Jolteon to go for the Thunderbolt, because I know, I know Jolteon is almost dead. But the thing is, Jolteon has a move left, so you can at least take the shield. But um, this is going to be a tough matchup. Swamp It is looking to hopefully get the shield right now. Not going to be able to get it. I didn't think they would shield because the opponent knows it's Jolteon in the back. They may not know the energy count because it's a Jolteon and it's not a Pokemon you see all the time. But I would probably assume it's uh, that's what it is, right? It, there was some sort of electric type happening. So this is definitely going to be a difficult one to win. Grass Knight is going to KO. Yeah, Jolteon's not going to be able to pull this one out. This doesn't KO. Uh, and if it does, you know, the opponent still has a shield. So they do shield. Uh, and Jolteon does go down. So, okay, well played. Uh, there's a couple of things that probably would have done differently, but that's okay. We all learn. We all make mistakes. We all get better and things like that. But it was definitely a difficult game as well to win, I think. So, definitely a hard lead as well. Okay, Jolteon into Dragonite. Hmm. Well, the electric attacks are going to be neutral. So, Jolteon has that going for it. Uh, it is able to... No, it does not get to the Thunderbolt... Uh, Jolteon gonna go ahead and shield. Yeah, I do think it's important to get this Dragonite out of here, or at least get it very low. Uh, so we're gonna see a Thunderbolt. Dragonite could shield this, 
Uh, this is gonna. This is neutral. It does a lot. It might KO even. <laughs> it does KO. Oh my gosh, Jolteon is really powerful, guys. Like it is really. It's not like the greatest Pokemon, obviously, but it is really, really powerful. Uh, so we do have a Thunderbolt coming out. That's going to definitely get the shield. And out comes Swamp it. Looks like the Alakazam is staying in. Swamp it will be hit with this Hydro Cannon, or it will go for the Hydro Cannon into the Alakazam. And Alakazam shields that totally fine. The opponent is out of shields. Will the Swamp it shield? Fire Punch is resisted. Could be Shadow Ball. Could be uh, anything else. It is Fire Punch. Nice call by the Swamp it. Swamp it is just going to immediately go for the Hydro Cannon just to try and get rid of this Alakazam. And it does get rid of it. And in comes the Fighting type. Going to be the regular Machamp. And the opponent is actually going to go ahead and surrender. So very well done. Uh, very well played, I should say. Um, but let's go ahead and move into the next one. But yeah, Jol uh, Jolteon does have a pretty good attack stat. It's a really good attack stat, actually. But uh, we're going to have Jolteon into Executor. So Executor is resisting these electric attacks. So that's not great. Uh, obviously, I mean, the Muck would do well. But again, I don't know that you really want to switch into Muck. Looks like we're going to see the switch into Muck. Okay, and the Executor is switching out into Swamp It. Yeah, the problem with switching into your hard counter to that uh, Pokemon is that now... The Swamp is going to be able to take care of the Muck, and then you won't have an answer to the Executor. You don't want the Jolteon or the Swamp up against it. So that Executor is going to be very difficult to handle. Uh, so I think if I was running this team, I think the way to go would probably be to just sack the Jolteon, do as much damage as possible, and then bring in the Muck. But um, that's okay. Um, that's, that's fine. It's not really a big deal. Uh, so the Muck will go down, and in comes Swamp It. Swamp It's trying to get to this Hydro Cannon. Able to get to it, this will KO the opposing Swamp It. And here we go. Oh, we see a shield. Okay, very nice. So up two shields. So at least Fat Panda has that going for them. So they are up two shields. Now they're up one shield because they're going to use that very nice shield. Maybe we'll see an Over Farm. Yeah, we're going to see an Over Farm. Then going to go ahead and go for the Hydro Cannon before the opposing Swamp It gets to an, a, a, a Hydro Cannon. We don't want that. Uh, if this Swamp It had Sludge Wave, it would be better, but gonna go ahead and shield. I don't know, I mean, I mean, it's squishy, Executor is squishy, so maybe go for Hydro Cannon and then switch in and go for Thunderbolt to try and KO it, but unfortunately we're seeing an attack right now. Gonna be Seed Bomb that will KO. I, I think the play was probably to go for Hydro Cannon if you could get it off and then switch into Jolteon and go for Thunderbolt. It was very tough. Uh, we actually seen an attack come out, or not an attack, a Pokemon come out. Gonna be, oh wait, hold up, Jolteon might pull this one out. This is gonna KO Charizard. You'll see how strong Jolteon is, look at that. So, can these Volts, oh no, 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 I needed one more. Very close game, very, very, very close game. So yeah, even though Executor is like resisting Thunderbolt and stuff from Jolteon, it's still a squishy Pokemon, it's a shadow, so it's still taking quite a bit, right? Uh, so it was very close, it was very close, but well played, um... Just was not able to capitalize on that, unfortunately, but that's okay. It happens. It's just a learning experience. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I love shoutcasting players at Ace, rank 20, below, you know, expert, legends. Obviously, I love shoutcasting legends, but, um, you know, I also love shoutcasting maybe Ace trainers just so we can learn from them and maybe help you guys as well. Uh, if you guys maybe think that you could play a little bit better, maybe I'll, I'll give you some of my opinions and maybe we can help you. Um... That's always what I love to do. Uh, I would never charge for coaching. I, I don't. I'm not a coach. I'm not going to charge for coaching because I don't feel like I'm. I would. I know I'm a good player, but I don't feel like my services would. I guess be a good thing to charge for is what I'm trying to say. I don't feel like I'm. I feel like I'm good. I just don't feel like good enough to charge money or anything for coaching but i mean this is technically not coaching but it could help you learn i guess a little bit i guess that's what i'm trying to say guys um so womp it will go for the hydro cannon and uh Gavados is gonna go ahead and farm down uh yep jolteon is coming in but unfortunately this will KO the jolteon so jolteon will yeah shield it that volt switch probably ko's yeah it did ko very nice uh what is gonna come in it's gonna be that snorlax out comes the lowland and muck okay um, we'll have to see what the Snorlax has, right? I mean, if it has Earthquake, that's not good. Superpower, it's not going to KO. Um, we'll see what this is. This, I think it's just Body Slam. So, Body Slam, obviously it has Body Slam. So, Body Slam is, okay, going to connect and trying to get to a Dark Pulse. Able to get to it. This Dark Pulse is not enough to KO. This is going to be a tough game. Um, so Dark Pulse coming out. And that's totally fine. 
and trying to get to another one, but we see a switch. Oh my gosh, okay. So can this muck fawn down, duck post? Oh, I feel like, oh, they go for an attack. The muck had to go for the fawn down, I think. I, it, may, it may have been super risky. I don't know if they would have gotten to it, but this Snorlax has an attack. Oh, they're going to let it go down. Me. Oh, just relying on the Jolteon? Okay, I mean, okay, going for the Thunderbolts. So doesn't the Snorlax still have a shield? I think they still have a shield. Yeah, they do have a shield. And trying to get two Volt Switches through. Okay, beautiful. They're able... Oh my gosh, no! They But they got that Volt Switch through. And the Snorlax is going to go down after that. So it took a few Volt Switches and able to win. That was actually really well done. Relying on that Jolteon in the end. You love to see it. And that will be it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.